Before we get into the message, I've got a little announcement that I want to make. Um, and I'm going to give you the what first, and then I'll circle back and give you the why. Um, the what is this, is that starting after this weekend, I'm going to be taking a three-month medical leave from Lakeside. Um, if you've been coming here for a while, you know the health struggles that I've had. I, as of now, I've lived with chronic migraine for three years. Um, basically, what that means is that on my absolute best days, I've got a pretty nasty headache, and on my absolute worst days, it gets pretty ugly. Um, I've, you know, it's excruciating pain, extreme sensitivity to light. Uh, it's terrible. There's times where my pain's high enough that it causes anxiety because you just want it to stop and it won't. Um, and so I end up in bed for the day or half the day or whatever that is. A handful of times I've had to go to the ER or the urgent care just to try to do something. Um, and so we've thrown everything at the wall at this. I've done tests, uh, scans, variety of medications in different combinations, dietary changes, climate shifts, traditional medicine, alternative medicine, tried Botox, uh, which is responsible for my nice smooth face, but did nothing <laughs> for the headaches. I underwent a pretty major nerve decompression surgery that did nothing. I spent two weeks in a hospital wing. I got five good days out of that. Nothing's really made much of a dent in this. And I've not really ever gone into that kind of detail before because I don't want to treat the pulpit here like a therapist couch and kind of just unload on you guys every week. Um, and also, I mean, there are two or three other people in this church that deal with problems that are very similar or exactly the same. And, you know, they need your prayers just as much as I do. Um, but I think it's important that you guys understand how debilitating and how difficult this has been, um, how it's impacted my life and just function, function normally. Um, it causes Adrian to pick up all kinds of slack that I create because there's not a ton I can reliably, consistently do. And, you know, kudos to her for being amazing through this. Um, yeah, she deserves it. And so it wasn't without a lot of serious, serious thought that we came to uh, this decision. And the reason for the break is it boils down to this. Essentially, I just I can't do the work that this job requires. That's as simple as it is. Um, there's not yet been a Sunday morning where I haven't been able to get up here and preach, but that's really only by the grace of God. Um, it has made preparing these sermons much more arduous than it should be, um, and it's kind of forced me to be more scripted than I should be. I had to script this announcement <laughs> because otherwise I'd just, I'd just get lost. I wouldn't know what I was talking about. You probably may not even notice that. It may not bother you, but I look at like the video and I'm putting it together to put it on YouTube. I'm just like, God, you idiot. What are you doing? Um... The truth is, though, is that preparing the message for the weekend has really been the only thing for a while now that I've been able to do reliably and consistently. There are meetings I have to cancel, meetings I never schedule, um, just because I know I can't do it. Uh, if you've tried to meet with me, it's always like, I've got these afternoons open because I can't guarantee I'm going to be there in the morning, you know? Um, it prevents me from really reading and studying um, spending the amount of time and the quality of time with the Lord that I really need to to pastor this church well. I'm not able to keep up with our leadership team and uh, helping them get their ministries going. There's just so many ways that the ball gets dropped, and it's ultimately just not fair to you. It's not fair to Lakeside. And so Lakeside needs a pastor that can actually pastor this church. Um, and now that's exactly why I gave the what up front, because I didn't want to say all of that and have you thinking that I'm building to, I'm stepping away for good. Um, my el the elders and I, we've been talking basically since December, when it was clear that the surgery that I had didn't work. 
Um, and we're trying to figure, okay, well, what do we do next? How, how do we address this? And um, that's one of the reasons if you were here last year, uh, for the business meeting and things like that, you know that we plan to bring in a new family pastor to do kids and youth ministry. Well, we haven't been able to make much progress on that because we still had kind of me in flux and not knowing what that was going to look like. And so we'd meet at the elder meetings and just kind of kick the can down the road each time. Like, well, let's wait a month and see what happens. Let's wait a month and see what happens. Uh, and unfortunately, we just hit the point where we have to, we just have to make a call. And, uh, you know, both they and I really want me to be here. Um, we, in the discussion, the discussion was really, okay, either we bring in an interim pastor and we immediately start a search for a new lead pastor here, or we bring in an interim pastor and I take a little medical leave, and we just throw everything at the wall. I try to de-stress. Just gives me opportunity. I see my surgeon on Tuesday. Like, if we do another surgery, I've got plenty of recovery time. If I, there's a guy out, or a gal actually, out in Denver that we're like, well, maybe we go out there, we give that a shot. This sort of gives us the freedom to do those things and also just be praying in this window that God does something, whether that's through the hands of doctors or a miracle all his own. Um, and so we're in those meetings, and I'm, and I think the elders will tell you this, my key focus in these meetings was, well, what's going to be the best thing for Lakeside? And I wasn't necessarily sure that it was the medical leave option, because I was like, man, we've already got such good momentum right now. Maybe it's just better if I step away, um, and we can just keep get moving faster in case this thing doesn't work. Uh, but the elders unanimously and enthusiastically um, disagreed <laughs> and wanted to give this medical leave a shot. And make no mistake about it, I'm truly, truly grateful that they did. And so logistically what this is going to mean is that this is going to be my last Sunday until September. Uh, I won't be attending during that time. Uh, you know, not that I don't love all of you very much, I do, uh, but if you've ever been in ministry or been a leader in ministry, you know that when you go just to any church, like if I were to go anywhere, I'm going to be sitting there and being like, huh, why'd they do that lighting cue then? Like, this is wrong. Like, you know, we go and uh, if, I'm, if we're at another church, we're visiting my mom or something like that. Adrian will see me pull my phone out and open my Logos app while the pastor's preaching, and I'm like doing like word studies while I'm like, I don't think he's right about that. <laughs> like, it's just, it's not relaxing. Um, and so, you know, I'll spend some Sundays resting, some Sundays maybe doing recon at some other churches and never really get an opportunity to do that uh, for obvious reasons, right? And uh, maybe take some time, settle down at one during this period. Adrian will be around on the week. She's doing Kingdom Seekers. She's going to keep doing that. Um, and so in the time that I'm gone, like I said, we've got a couple appointments already lined up, a couple other things that we're looking at. Um, and we're going to see if God does something here. So of course, I cover your prayers uh, as we embark on this, praying that God intervenes in some way, whatever that looks like. Now, Already God has answered some of our prayers over this by providing a pretty incredible interim pastor uh, that I think you guys are going to love. And he's here today. His name is Don Dodge. And he's over there. Um, so Don and his wife Raylan came uh, up a couple weeks ago, and uh, we got a chance to really get to know them over dinner and spend some time with them and then lured them back to our house with the promise of free pie <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and got to really grill him there. Uh, and man, I just really feel a great connection with us. We share very similar ideals about what church can be and should be. Um, honestly, he is grossly overqualified for this job. Uh, currently working on his PhD, but I'll let him tell you more about I'll let him tell you more 
about that. Um, but uh, yeah, Don's great. I want to give him an opportunity to sort of introduce himself uh, and his family. Well, good morning. Yes, my uh, wife, Raylynn, daughters, Allie and Riley over here. And um, yeah, they were upset they did, didn't get pie, <laughs> by the way. Um, <laughs> now, we, we actually currently live in Sun Prairie, uh, which is right outside of Madison. And um, just really excited in this PhD process. We have, uh, uh, we moved up to Madison from Florida. That's actually our home. We are the one who actually moves north. And because um, many, uh, anyway. Uh, so we're, but we're so excited to be here because um, it gives, I'm, I'm actually finishing the uh, coursework of the PhD this summer. And this is such a great opportunity for us to be a part of your family. And um, we've just been so excited meeting the elders and, and meeting Jeremy and Adrian. And it's, it's been amazing. And your family is probably one of the most hospitable and nicest families we've been around. In fact, everywhere we go, we just keep talking and talking and talking. <laughs> and, and we realize, and it's not just Ray. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, everybody is just so welcoming and nice. And, uh, and so we're, we're just excited that our family gets to be a part of your family for the summer. But having said that, I want to ask, you know, I'm excited for Jeremy and Adrian to have some time to get away and to, to try some new things and have some possibilities and to rest a little bit. But I would ask for you, maybe get a three-by-five card or a Post-it note and put their names on it and put it on your mirror so that every single day, Every time you think about them, you pray for them. Because I am excited not just about us being here for the summer, because we're going to have some fun. And Jeremy made me promise that I'm not going to preach anything out of Matthew. <laughs> so <laughs> you can be assured I'm not, that, there's one book in the Bible I'm not allowed to touch. And, um, <laughs> but we're going to have some fun, even though there's, I think there's a couple of other scriptures that we're going to be able to, to talk about together. But I want to ask that you pray because I believe your greatest days are ahead as I've talked to them and I've heard about what they are looking forward to and what they expect God to do. And um, so let's be a part of that together because I commit that I'm going to be praying for them every day. And I just ask that you, you commit the same. Uh, yeah, I just want to take a second here and pray for Don. Um, yeah. Um, pray for him and Raylan and, and the girls just as they start here. Um, yeah, Lord, we, uh, we thank you uh, just for providing this family to uh, come be a part of our family, uh, that you have put them in the right place at the right time uh, for them to come pour into Lakeside to, to lead this church uh, under your guidance to, uh, man, just be a crucial part of what you are doing here in Algoma and Kiwani County and Door County and all around. Uh, we just thank you for them. God, I pray that you would uh, wisdom uh, as they're here, that you would give them just peace uh, as they go about your work, uh, that you would just flatten the hills in front of them and raise the valleys, that they would just have an, uh, just a fruitful, blessed time marching forward this summer, uh, and that this church body, this family, would be so blessed by them and their ministry. Uh, we thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you. Thanks. <laughs> 